This is just a very quick video on something I'd like to share that came in the mail today. This is a Manley cartridge former uh, designed by Cliff Manley, who's now passed away. Cliff was the first person who come, came up with a two-piece CES system that had a mandrel and a die uh, to make paper cartridges. And he did this in response to the availability of the Johnson & Dow bullet. Uh, by Eric's Gone Bullet Modes. This is the very first one that Cliff produced. It's his prototype, and he sent it to me for testing uh, sometime in 2017. He went on to make uh, 36 caliber versions also. This is one of the first ones, and this one actually is uh, signed by Cliff on the bottom. And several other people have gone on to make uh, cartridge formers based on the, on the manly concept and they're all, they're all good products. They all work well. But I think the newest entry into this concept uh, is going to be very interesting. This is the Crossin cartridge former. It also uses a mandrel and a die, but it's the base that holds it together and uh, the way it can crimp a bullet, both uh, make, form the car cartridge and crimp the bullet is what really makes it interesting. And so you're going to see me unwrap all these pieces as I as I do it for the first time, because I'm curious what all is in this box. It's almost like Christmas opening this, this thing up. I assume I'm gonna have to assemble some things and I may have to shut the camera on and off uh, as I do that. I'll stick with us. the base of the device. Let me see if I can open up. It's very well packed. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, John did a great job of securing all this. And there's always uh, obviously a lot of craftsmanship involved with this thing. I mean, it's not just thrown together. Uh, it's very, very intricate design. That's the base. And we'll figure out what this pin does here in a few minutes. This is the locking lever that pushes the two pieces of the die together. So let's see what's next. And this is the funnel. This is where you put the powder charge in. And we'll, I guess we'll talk about the dies in a few minutes. In a few minutes, but you can see it has a little lever to move it up and down out of the way. Uh, the, the attention to detail on this thing and the materials is, is really amazing. Uh, very well finished uh, oak on the bottom, then routed, polished, and finished. Uh, this is all brass. Uh, I, I assume it's just a, a collection of components that he's had made up uh, to put these things together. So let's go to the next step and pull out the dies. Move this out of the way. I'll turn it around a little bit so you can see more of it. I assume I'll have to adjust the powder uh, funnel once I get the dies in. Here's the forming dies, I assume, or no, that's the uh, crimping die. And it's marked uh, with laser engraving, Johnson and Dow, 44 caliber. This must be the forming die. 
I'm not sure. It's got but it's spring loaded. It'll, it'll bring come back apart uh, once you're ready for it to do so. And this, I think, is a spacer that goes on that side. Let's do this. Put a set of dies in. I assume this locks it in place, this pin. And then this goes in as a spacer so you can get uh, get some pressure with the with the uh, lever there and it's also included two extra shims so he says this shim will wear out after a while so he's provided extra ones uh, to replace them so my powder funnel needs to be adjusted to go over the hole on the die I'll go ahead and do that while I got it in place Take this and move it out of the way. But this lever is what squeezes it together and opens it. Okay, let's see what else we got in the package. Right. This is designed to actually hold the bullet when you're moving it uh, and placing it into the die. And hopefully I'll do another video on making cartridges and we'll see exactly how that works. This way your big fat fingers don't have to hold the tip of the bullet. This goes into the grease groove, clamps it, and then you can move it around and set it where you want to. This is the actual mandrel, also laser engraved. And then after you form your cartridge paper, you place it in there. This also is very well constructed. Oh, uh, I see what that is. That is the template for cutting the cartridge papers. So you can put several layers of paper down, clamp this on top of them, and then just cut around that template to get the shape you need. And if you want to understand, this is a quick release thing. It comes right off. And I won't try to show you right now. And the idea is that if you order, later on we have some available, available order a 36 caliber set of dies, you'll also get a uh, template cutter at the same time. I forgot to mention this part right here, 36 Johnson Dow conical bullets. This is actually just a storage box. It's very well made. You can see it's uh, 3D printed and you can put 36 uh, 44 caliber projectiles in there ready for uh, use in this device. So overall, I'm very impressed with the uh, quality uh, miss, of Mr. Crossan's setup here. It may be overcomplicated, I'm not sure. But uh, seeing how I had the very first of uh, the Manly Formers and some early prototypes of just about all the others that have been produced, I had to be the first one to get a Crossan Former also. So uh, we'll give it a shot later. Uh, it's, it almost looks like something that you would see at a steampunk convention or something it's just it's just so uh intricate as i said possibly over complicated but there's no doubt that this has the capability to make a very good cartridge and we will uh verify that when i make the first few in the next video thanks for watching if you're interested in one of these formers i'll put mr crossan's email address in the description of the video above and you can also find him on Facebook at Crossens Cartridge Formers and you can message him through there.